Hey guys, we're out here at my truck. Got a couple gaps here on the side of the tailgate. You can see daylight through there really, really good. And my truck cap has a, has like a little gutter system in a way right here on the side. Where water drips down from the top of this and comes down here. And when it does, sometimes it'll go right through here and go through the truck. What I'm doing today is, and I've got that gap on both sides. What I got here, I got some of this self-adhesive molding that goes on the bottom of doors, like doors like this. I've actually got one that screws into this one that covers up the gaps, but they make self-adhesive ones where you can put it on the inside of your doors or on the outside if you want to. But I got this self-adhesive right here. I already done one side and you can see I put it all the way up and down right here. I've got this little lip and I made it go right past the inside of my camper shell and made it go right down into the bottom right here, a little bit past that. That way when the water comes down, if it hits that, it's just gonna go straight down instead of in the bed of the truck. We hope. You can get this stuff really, really cheap on Amazon. I'll leave a little link down below in the description of the one I used. Not bad at all, pretty cheap. Just a quick video to show what I'm doing to waterproof my truck. Seems like you're always finding some kind of little thing to improve on, but that's the thing I'm doing now. So we'll see if that works or not. We'll get this other side done. And I made sure the tailgate closes. Closes just fine. And hopefully as that water comes down, if it goes, any goes in there, it's gonna go straight down. Right in there. Just a quick truck bed, camper shell, waterproof modification anybody can do. Thought I'd share that. A really cheap way to keep the water out. That being said, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. And as always, plan, prepare, and practice. Handy out.